their congregation trembled when he crashed in through the church house door. Hellfire glowed from his blood red eyes and his footsteps shut the floor. The heavenly choir stopped singing. No one made a sound. Standing there among them was the meanest man around. When he walked straight toward the pulpit, you could see the pastor's fright. This man was known for trouble, and this man loved to fight. Two other deacons went out through the exit. One woman ran with her kid. Still the most unexpected was the next thing that this man did. In a voice that roared and echoed, he cried, Preacher, would you please show me how I can be saved? And then he went down on both knees. He said, I rejected my salvation, and I have lived a life of sin. And now a war rages within my spirit, a battle I cannot win. I feel both good and evil competing for my soul. Satan has a hold on me but Jesus won't let go. Possessed by inflictions, unable to conquer alone, this man was under God's conviction, a true sinner trying to come home. Impressed by his conviction and the burden he had to bear, the preacher knelt down beside him and while they prayed the sinner's prayer, the Holy Spirit came down upon him. Relieved of all his sin, he cried out to God in Jesus' name, and this man was born again. Oh, there was such a transformation from the man he was before. Only God's grace glowed across his face when he rose up from the floor praising our Lord for his new salvation and life beyond the grave. There are those who claim they heard angels sing the night this man's soul was saved. Satan tried to get him back time and time again. His faith was often tempted by both relatives and friends, but he held on to his new salvation and they could not bring him down. A new member of their denomination was once the meanest man around.